Hi, I'm Chris Ferguson coming to you from the flight deck of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, orbiting at an altitude of 220 miles docked to the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle was born over 30 years ago as a reusable space plane. In the ensuing 30 years, it's deployed great observatories, it's taught us how to live and work in low Earth orbit, and most recently, it's helped us construct the International Space Station. Its image is iconic. You cannot go anywhere in the world without recognizing a picture of a space shuttle. Space Shuttle is a rocket ship, a space plane, and a glider all rolled into one. Our good ship Atlantis has made 33 trips into space. It has visited the Mir Space Station, it has visited the Hubble Telescope, and it has made many trips to the International Space Station. And it has the distinct honor of being the last space shuttle to visit our beloved ISS. We look forward to bringing her home in just a few short days. The Space Shuttle program has been an inspiration to our entire country. When you watch the Space Shuttle take off, you can't help but be proud of your country that can take this magnificent machine and launch it into space at 25 times the speed of sound. We're also inspired by the entire Space Ops team, the trainers, the planners, and the flight controllers who make the impossible possible. The Space Shuttle is also an inspiration to children who are inspired to study math and science and pursue technical areas. We also uh, like to recognize the fact that the Space Shuttle has really brought out the international cooperation in the space program. It started out by going to the Shuttle Mir program, where we, had initi we initiated our cooperation with the Russians. And since then, of course, it has been the keystone of the International Space Station program, bringing up modules from many countries and allowing cosmonauts and astronauts from different countries to fly together in space. Because of the capabilities of the Space Shuttle, with its ability to fly up to seven people and its very large working and living volume, it's increased the possibilities and opportunities for not for all kinds of people to fly on the shuttle, scientists, engineers from America and from other countries as well. Through these many, many flights, we've gained a lot of experience and knowledge about how to adapt and work in space, and we'll be able to take this knowledge as we pursue goals beyond low Earth orbit. We have to remember, though, this knowledge should not come without some painful loss of colleagues, but we know that they, too, We'll be very excited to learn that the information and experience gained from all the space shuttle flights will be used to carry mankind beyond low Earth orbit to Moon, Mars, or perhaps an asteroid someday. Behind us is a flag that flew on STS-1. We are honored and privileged to return it to space once again on the final space shuttle mission. In a few short days, we'll prepare to undock from the International Space Station for the final time. We'd like to present this flag along with a few other small mementos of the Space Shuttle's contribution to the construction of the International Space Station so that they may be a permanent presence on the Space Station for generations to come. In a few short years, the United States will launch its own indigenous vehicle once again. We want to return this flag back to Earth with that vehicle when it comes again, only to be returned to space once again when we leave low Earth orbit and return to a lunar asteroid or perhaps Martian destination. From the flight deck of Atlantis, the crew of STS-135 wishes all of the workers who contributed to the space shuttle program our best, our thanks. God bless you and God bless America.